introducing the MK Ultra Wideband Kit, a set of hardware and software tools and documentation to prototype your ideas and accelerate the time to market of your new ultra wideband based solution. The first thing you see in the kit are three tags, each equipped with an RSR 150 ultra wideband chip from NXP. Next to the tags, you also get a USB flash drive with all of the software, SDKs, examples, demo applications, and reference documentation you will need to use the kit. The kit also contains an antenna board with antenna connectors and footprint to assemble an ultra wideband module. You also get another antenna board with a pair of SMD antennas and an ultra wideband module on it ready to be used. You also get a shield with a socket to connect an antenna board with a module on it. And finally, a spare ultra wideband module that can be assembled into your own design. So after reading the quick start guide included in the USB flash drive, you are ready to run the demo scenarios delivered with the kit. The first one is the device to device scenario in which ultra wideband is used to track the distance between two tags. Start by powering up a tag by inserting a coin cell battery. It will blink green three times after booting up. Repeat the same process on a second tag and after a few seconds, the green LED will flash to indicate that the two tags have detected each other over ultra wideband. The next demo scenario is the mobile to device use case, which demonstrates 2D localization of an ultra wideband tag using a phone. Start by preparing the shield and then connect it to the phone. Power up a tag and select the mobile to device use case by pressing the button on it. Make sure that the LED flashes in blue three times indicating this. Then install the Find It application on your smartphone if you haven't already. After starting the application, start discovering the tags around you and select one of them to add it to the list of registered tags. Tapping on one of the tags will bring you to the navigation screen. After a few seconds to set up the devices, the application will show you the direction and distance to your tag. So then you can use these indications in your phone to navigate to the tag. As an alternative to these indications, you can also use a radar view to locate your tag. So now, what can you do with the ultra wideband shield? First, it can be used as a standalone device with the same behavior you would expect from a tag. Second, by using a USB or Bluetooth low energy connection, it can be used to enable ultra wideband capabilities in any smartphone you want. And finally, thank, uh, thanks to the Arduino connectors, it can be used along with other development boards, which allows you to combine ultra wideband with other technologies. You can use the development tools, including the kit, to ease the integration and testing of the tag and the ultra wideband module into your own solution. You can rely on mobile knowledge to access a la carte support for ultra wideband solutions, such as antenna and hardware design software integration, embedded security, and development of specific ultra-wideband use cases.